Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the Legend Cub will become an airshow airplane. Atlas Air Worldwide to acquire Southern Air Holdings. Flight Design participates in cabin safety crash testing. I'm Brie Cross, it's January 22nd, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The American Legend Aircraft Company, located in Sulphur Springs, Texas, has announced its sponsorship of Greg Koontz Air Shows in cooperation with C&D Aviation, an aircraft sales and service center. Under the agreement, one of Greg Koontz's signature air show acts will now feature the Legend Cub. C&D Aviation, based at Bessemer Airport in Alabama, specializes in Piper Cub parts and has an experienced team building and restoring aircraft. Greg Koontz performs two distinct acts, and one of them is called Alabama Boys. Beginning this year, Koontz will perform his Alabama Boys show in a newly manufactured Legend Cub. The Alabama Boys is a skit in which Koontz dognaps the airplane as crew members chase him down a wheel is shot off. With deft precision and the aid of a well-practiced team, Koontz lands the Cub atop a moving pickup track. The air show season for Koontz starts in April and includes a visit to the Sun and Fun Fly-In. Southern Air Holdings announced it has entered into a definitive agreement to be acquired by Atlas Air Worldwide Holdings in a transaction valued at approximately $110 million. The transaction includes Worldwide Air Logistics Group and its two operating subsidiaries, Southern Air and Florida West International Airways. Southern Air will continue to operate in Florence, Kentucky, and Florida West will continue to operate in Miami, Florida as subsidiaries of Atlas Air Worldwide. Atlas Air Worldwide is the parent company of Atlas Air Titan Aviation Holdings and is the majority shareholder of Polar Air Cargo Worldwide. Through Atlas and Polar, Atlas Air Worldwide operates the world's largest fleet of Boeing 747 freighter aircraft. Daniel J. McHugh, Chief Executive Officer of Southern Air Holdings, said, quote, By joining the Atlas Air family of companies, Southern Air Holdings will now have a strong and viable parent to enable us to continue to grow. We share the same commitment to providing superior customer service via our exceptional team of aviation professionals. After the break, a flight designed C4 will be crash tested to improve safety. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Light aircraft manufacturer Flight Design announced progress in development work on the advanced occupant protection research and testing referred to as the safety box. The purpose of the research is to improve occupant safety by creating a safety cell around the aircraft cockpit and Flight Design's new four-seat C4 was chosen as the first test bed. Germany's Ministry of Economic Affairs provided funding for the research project that hopes to develop a modular cabin safety system for light aircraft. Using a flight design C4 airframe, a full-scale crash test is scheduled for March of this year at a German university. The university maintains a test site on a former military base where they commonly do full-scale impact simulations with automobiles. It's Friday and that means that it's time for ANN CEO and Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell to check in with his weekly barnstorming commentary. This week, Jim brings us an update on the Lip Bob Fly project by announcing the Founders 100 and Founders 200 programs. Here is this week's barnstorming. Thanks, Brian. Hi, folks. Wanted to bring you up today on a couple things. Um, just so you understand what we've had to do over the last few months to bring the Let Bob Fly documentary campaign to the fore has been study our brains out and boy have we there's so many things we've had to learn or research or just understand better so that we can put out the best possible product with the best possible result 
Well, we're about to go public with a lot of stuff because quite frankly, we can delay it no more. We have studied our brains out and frankly, we think we're ready for the big lessons that are yet to occur. But those occur as a function of getting this product out to market. But most important, it revolves around the fact that we can make real change in the aviation industry based on some history, based on some hopes, based on the law, and based on a more prosperous future for us all. At any rate, the biggest problem with the Let Bob Fly campaign is that we can't do it for free. It requires phenomenal resources, great people, good equipment, a lot of travel, and it's going to cost us a lot of money, hundreds of thousands by the time we're done. We are opening up two entry-level fundraising programs before we start the Indiegogo campaign in a couple of weeks. Those are just for our friends at ANN, our friends through uh, Aero TV and Airborne. They're the Founders 100 and 200 programs. And very simply put, they are this. Their Founders 100 requires a $100 donation. And in return, we have a series of rewards we think are pretty cool. An Error of Injustice ebook, the 1999 book that documented all of this in exhausting detail, over 400 pages. A first edition Let Bob Fly challenge coin a first edition Let Bob Fly promotional poster, 11 by 17, a supporter certificate to show everybody that you've been part of this campaign, and your listing on the Let Bob Fly Founders Support webpage. That's for the $100 donation. We hope this is something that will interest you. However, got a few more coins in your pocket. Let's go with the Let Bob Fly Founders 200 campaign. That will allow you to partake in a number of accelerator rewards, including a print copy, one of the last hundred or so we have left from the initial first edition, uh, first editions of uh, the Era of Injustice book that got this whole process rolling in 99. Uh, all those, of course, will be signed by yours truly. It will also include the first edition challenge coin, the promotional poster, and a video on demand access to the first of the Hoover highlight reels. These are short videos of Bob talking about a number of topics that don't necessarily relate to the Let Bob Fly documentary, but are cool nonetheless. I mean, how many guys get to tell the story about how they stole a Folkwolf 190 to escape a German prisoner of war camp? I mean, please. Great stuff. There will also, of course, be a copy of the certificate and name listing on the Let Bob Fly Founder Support webpage. We will have all this for you if you go to kindredspirit.com. You can look up the Founders 100 and 200, and of course, take a look at the web addresses here on the page. We hope you'll be a part of this. We're doing our best to make sure that what we do for you and with you is the best that we can do. Uh, we have a lot of money to raise. This little entry level program is meant to get us 10 to 15% of the way, it gets us some initial equipment, some initial travel, some initial interviews, and gets us rolling so that we can get into the Indiegogo campaign. Uh, probably by the beginning of the second quarter of this year and go out and do everything that we need to do, not only for Bob, but for all of us. We're really excited about this, folks. We know we can do this. We've studied our brains out. But most important, we think we can have a disruptive, positive, even revolutionary effect on aviation for the future. And isn't that just the coolest thing we could possibly do? For the Aero News Network, Airborne and Aero TV, I'm Jim Campbell. And Please think of helping us out, making sure this whole thing gets done properly. Thanks. After these messages, NASA researching low carbon propulsion. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. 
With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. NASA's Glenn Research Center has engineers and scientists engage in an effort to develop alternate designs for large passenger aircraft using low-carbon propulsion technology. Electric power is now seen as a new frontier for providing thrust and power for flight. The FAA has awarded PMA approval to Airforms for engine baffle kits for the Mooney M20J. The newly approved components join Airforms engine baffle product line covering more than 60 aircraft models. PMA parts may replace original equipment parts. For the third consecutive year, Hartzell Propeller will be the propeller technical partner of the Red Bull Air Race World Championship in 2016. Hartzell will provide its three-blade composite propeller, known as the CLAW, to every Red Bull Air Race team. The National Aircraft Resale Association Business Aviation Scholarship Program has announced the award of $25,000 in scholarships to six extraordinary students. NARA initiated the scholarship awards in 2014 with donated funds coming from the brokers, dealers, and products and services members. The Retail Industry Leaders Association say their hope is that the final FAA rule will eliminate the possibility of point-of-sale drone registration process. They say it would be costly, inefficient, and difficult to implement, while also posing data privacy concerns for consumers. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The Department of Transportation Inspector General has released a scathing report outlining numerous shortcomings of the FAA's efforts to implement reforms intended to help the agency operate more effectively and efficiently, improve the delivery of air traffic services, and modernize the U.S. air traffic control system. U.S. House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee Chairman Bill Schuster said in part, quote, this report shows that the FAA simply isn't suited to successfully modernize our nation's antiquated air traffic control system. Over two decades of FAA personnel, organizational, and acquisition reforms have failed to slow the agency's cost growth, improve its productivity, or improve its performance in modernizing the system. The FAA remains a vast government bureaucracy, not a high-tech service provider. The Inspector General found that several underlying and systemic issues, including overambitious plans, shifting requirements, software development problems, ineffective contract and program management, and unreliable cost and schedule estimates, impact the FAA's ability to introduce new technologies and capabilities that are critical to transitioning to next gen. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Have a wonderful weekend. We will see you Monday.